Hey y'all, APG Jamie here, and today we're going to take this pie box. Pies came in at, at, at Thanksgiving, y'all, and uh, I kept them because I'm like, oh, I love these boxes. They're so nice and clean, and oh, I think we can do something with them. So anyway, we're going to turn it into a journal, and I've got two of them because I want the window in the front, and I'm trimming off all the stuff. Portions of this video have been sped up for your viewing and my voiceover ease. <laughs> there is a list of ingredients in the description box below because I do use a few couple things. And uh, I really have sort of been mulling this over in my head, but I really didn't have a plan. <laughs> sort of, mostly. So, I uh, was trying to determine how thick I want the spine. And the last uh, journal I made from a donut box, the spine was way too big. And it was like uh, two and a quarter inches. So, I thought I'd go with two inches. <laughs> I knocked a quarter inch off and it makes a difference, y'all. It really did make a difference. I could have went with the two and a quarter inch. So it goes, story of my life. So I'm just going to try to score, and I'm using the ruler and my, um, what is that, that ball tipped tool thing there. Because uh, you really can't, because it, it's kind of heavy cardboard, y'all. It's heavier than faux uh, chipboard cereal boxes, y'all. So anyway, it's kind of heavy-ish. Not super heavy, but it doesn't score very, doesn't want to score very well. So I fight with it and stuff. Well, not really. I insist that it behaves. And uh, I'm kind of like, now what? What exactly is my plan here? <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah, that's going to be cute. Yeah, right. Okay, let's cut that off. <sighs> Because <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to get it together. I want the window in the front. So I've got to glue an inside to an inside. Right? So I'll have the pink on the outside. Because, I mean, it's a pretty pink box. And, um, yep. So I've got a second box. I trimmed all the edges off of it. And I'm measuring out so that I can uh, trim it to approximately the same size. I was going to use the scissors. And I'm like, wait. I have a guillotine over here behind me. Oh, I just do that. No, do the guillotine. <laughs> so I do the guillotine, and you know, of course, I cut those brief moments out because really, y'all didn't need to see nothing. There was nothing to see, just a scoreboard. And I'm like, yeah, that's gonna work. Yeah, that can flip up there, and that can flip there, and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And what about our back? <laughs> I'm like, what about it? Yeah, yeah what about? back uh I'm thinking and yep that'll be the outside the other one will be the inside and well let's just cut that oh the skeleton it <laughs> bless my heart y'all so anyway that says lemon down there uh in the end you more or less can't really see it much less know what it says well, yeah, that's going to work. Yep, that feels pretty good. Okay. Okay, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Where's the other box? Something stuck on there. Probably a dog hair. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Okay. Okay, now how am I going to do it? Because I've got the same um, width for the spine, more or less, right there. So I'm going to sandwich the back cover spine in between the two front cover spines but first I have to get I'm gonna um, I added a bunch of score lines in here so that it makes a rolled edge you know for expansion even though I am making this specifically to put my 2018 happy mail in because somebody forgot to make a 2018 happy mail journal they found out when they made their 29 or 29 their 19 uh, Happy Meal journal that's the one that was the donut box I'll link to that if I can remember to do so so I've got that kind of scored up and ready to go so we're going to glue this back 
cover with the pink on the outside to one of the um, front covers, okay, with the window on it. It's window, not window, window. So, um, gluing at it with my favorite glue. Oop, I wipe that off. Okay. Okay. See, that's the inside front window. Because you, you can tell because it's pink on the inside and it's the uh, craft, craft color on the, on the, um, also the inside. <laughs> Rolling it really tight because I really want it to be really nice and happily married. Right. Okay. Yep. That's, that's looking good. I'm happy. Let's put a thumb notch because this is going to be a, a window, y'all. It's a window. And thumb notch. See? There's thumb notch. Ta-da! <laughs> I don't think I would have used, used this if they were icky. They were nice and clean. I took the pies out myself. They were good pies, too, y'all. Well, okay, they were pretty goodish. So, I'm um, gluing along because we're going to glue the... Um, the outside front cover to this and I noticed some of that plastic's not quite all the way down. So I'm just putting my glue on. Oh wait, wait, that's that's the top part. Don't glue that shit because you won't have a pocket window if you glue it shut. Okay, wipe that off. Put some down here because this is going to get uh, glued to the spine. That's going to give us three uh, thicknesses on the spine, y'all. Plenty strong enough, okay, for the binding method that we're going to use, which is a uh, three-hole pamphlet stitch with a twist. <laughs> with a twist, y'all. I'm going to say that y'all y'all going to have to wait and see. So I uh, got my glue book there. That's a book I glue on top of, not glue into. And I'm flipping my pages because I'm really trying to keep this pink uncontaminated. Was I totally successful? Probably 90% uh, successful. Okay? Okay. So, uh, the thing about the raw chipboards, cardboard stuff, is it's fairly absorbing, y'all. Okay? Oh, missed a page. Dead gimmick. So, anyway, um, trying to keep because I want to make sure my edges are damp so they'll stick and be married really happily together okay cleaning off that little bit of glue now this is the outside cover and I'm going to try to match it up and I did a pretty decent job y'all if I say so myself and I did just say so myself so smashing it all up, smashing it and smashing it, and uh, to let it dry overnight. At some point or another, it was quitting time, y'all. So uh, I probably let it dry. No, I don't know. At one point or another, it did dry overnight. Just saying. I don't know when. I don't know. I didn't put no time stamp on it. So there we go. Yep, that that's that's going to work. I don't know why that's wanting to bubble like it is. Well, actually, it's probably because I have the back cover um, spine sandwiched in there. That's just a guess, just a probably reasonable guess. So now we're going to make some signatures, and I'm using, uh, you know, just, what is that, 8.5 by 11 cardstock, you know, our standard kind of cardstock. And I'm scoring it, I don't know, eight and three quarters. I don't know. It all depends on what size box you got and what size signatures you want to make. Because I'm going for a squarish look. Now, I know it's not totally square, but it's a squarish look. Okay? So, just hang in there because it's hard to take, uh, you know, cardstock and, and without folding it in half, right? To get signature stuff so we're we're going to make a little faux signature almost sort of like we did almost sort of like we did for the donut box one only it's different okay almost sort of but different <laughs> yeah let's do that okay so see the the part on the left is going to be the signature part that goes into the spine. Now I'm making a little pocket, just one on the top, one on the bottom, and I'm using that art glitter glue. If I have it, I might as well use it. And you know, it's okay stuff. It's okay. 
I don't know that it will ever take the place of my Aileen's original tacky clue, but you know, it's okay stuff. I think I want that to fold to the inside, so we're just going to flip that over. Now I did this for all my uh, folios, because as you know, now that piece is a folio because it's folded sort of in half. And when you take uh, two or more folios and put them together, it becomes a signature. So we're going to make another one. And I put three folios together, and each signature has three folios. And I make four sets of uh, signatures. And yeah, we sped up different parts and stuff. So anyway, now we're going to cut this part off because it's useless. It's all, you know, it's how you hooked the box originally together and we're not hooking a box together anymore. But I want a reinforced edge, so I'm scoring that and I'm going to fold it over. And we're going to put a lot of our happy glue on there. So we like our glue. Is this perfect, turtle? No, but it's perfect for me. Okay. Okay. As you can see, the window part has calmed down some now that it's dried up a little bit. More butter. More butter ish. So, um, oh, I've been using a foam folder, but it's not a real bone. <laughs> Y'all almost let me forgot to say that. So, use our glue. I have another bottle, no worries. I have plenty of my favorite glue, y'all. I don't run out of that stuff. So we're putting it on there. I don't know, that's like a half an inch, three quarters of an inch. I don't know, because I don't know. I didn't measure it, because it didn't matter. So we're running it along there, making sure we got it all over our edges. And we're smush it down, but because it's kind of a heavyish. Uh, cardboard, bow jet board, whatever. I'm using clamps and these are my piranha clamps I get from Harbor Freight. Although I think I saw them on the uh, Amazons sometime ish. So there we go. Now I'm going to uh, trim off once all that gets dry. I'm going to trim off some or already did trim off some from the bottom and the top. Yeah, I already did that when y'all weren't looking. And I didn't, or I don't know, or maybe I was saying I needed to trim out. Anyway, I trimmed some off the top and the bottom. <laughs> so it'd be just a little more narrow, and the page uh, difference wouldn't be quite so obvious. I'm looking and I'm thinking, and I'm like, yeah, I'm digging it. So let's mark for some holes. Because I'm going to use some eyelets. This is where the twist comes in, y'all. And I start to mark on the outside, and I'm like, no, mark it on the inside. That way, when you mess up, when you mess up, <laughs> not if, but when, it'll be on the inside, and nobody will more or less, probably won't notice it. So, then I thought, well, let's just get out our uh, even Steven ruler. I don't know what that thing's called. Anyway, put the same amount on each side, and then we can just mark it for the center. And I thought, well... Okay, but let's just put our little um, eyelets over here. Now, I didn't have enough of the florally eyelet or the solid round eyelet, so I use a combination of the flowers on the top and the bottom and just the round ones in the middle because it worked out like that, and I like it. Okay? Okay. And I think it's a rose gold color. I don't know what color it is, y'all. I liked it obviously. So then I lay my eyelets out there and I kind of evenly-ish space them and now I'm just sticking my pencil down in a little eye hole there and drawing my little circle because it's like, yeah, okay, that's where I want it. And then I'm like, okay, well, let's just do the same thing right here. Wait, where are we with that scallop over there on the left? So there we got pretty good. I'm like, yeah, that's probably close. Mm-hmm, that works. So I'm kind of lining them up again. You know, a smarter person would have paid attention to the actual um, ruler measurements. <laughs> but, you know, it's me, y'all. <laughs> so there we go. Scooching them out of the way. Now we're just going to mark for the center. Oh, it's a centering ruler. That's what it is. Oh, for heaven's sakes. So I'm like, yeah, that's that's pretty good. That's Yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Now we're marking for our third because it's a three-hole pamphlet stitch out. So I'm going to get out my big old crocodile, and I'm using the small hole because I thought it was the correct size for the eyelets. As it turned out, it's not the correct. 
correct size. Okay? And uh, I totally bore you with watching me punch these holes. I did speed it up. You're welcome. So there we go. And I'm about to try on the eyelet. I'm like, come on, baby. I got my little setter ready to go. Putting the floor apart on the outside. It won't go in there. So I have to come back and punch for the larger hole. I don't bore you totally with that. Does that one fit? Yep. The other one still won't fit. <laughs> Try it again because, you know, it might have worked a second. <laughs> okay, so we got all the holes repunched. They're not too much worse for wear. And then we're going to set the eyelet and crimp and crimp. You can't see that part because I don't have a sideways camera. There we go. There we go. And we're just going to do the rest of them. I don't know if I speeded it up, sped it up more faster or if I show you all or edited it out. I don't know. Looks like I'm going to show you the whole stinking thing. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm happy I got this done. I didn't even realize. I feel terrible about having left all my 2018 mail in the basket over there okay now this is me gonna get ready to make a template for um, poking the signature holes and I'm like yeah we'll just do that we'll lay this piece of card underneath here and draw where our circles are sure surely that'll be fine it's finish uh -uh. putting the ruler on there it just is not making a straight line, y'all. And plus, the piece of cardstock that I used is, you know, it's I keep scraps over by the die cutting machines when I cut words or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, that's not. Oh, that's the top mark for the top, y'all. That is a smart thing to do. Sometimes I do smart things. Sometimes not so much. So here's your signatures. And what I'm doing? Oh, I'm getting a, getting my glue book so I can poke holes in it, poke it, poke it onto the glue book. I'm like, no, those aren't lining. Those aren't lining up so good. So let's see if we can sweet talk this cardstock into being nice and mostly sort of lining that. So that's what I did, and it, you know, it behaved okay. It did what I requested of it. Mm -hmm. Make sure you get everything all tapped up to one side or the other. And I've marked for the top and bottom of the journal. The paid signatures are just a wee bit shorter. So I'm centering that up. Mostly, sort of. Close enough. Marking for the top of my signatures and the bottom of the signature. And now we're going to get our pokey tool. And it's got a little protective thing. Oh, Amazon's got the cool, the cool, um, oh, for heaven's sake, binding tool set. You get a pokey tool and needles and like four or five different uh, wax linen threads. Really cool. It's like 10 bucks, 12 bucks maybe. Anyway, look for it on the Amazons. I don't have an affiliate link. I might ought to get some affiliate links, but I don't feel like messing with finding links, y'all. I'd rather just go through the trouble of keeping track of what uh, ingredients I use, and y'all can find your own links. <laughs> Poking hose, but I don't get my hose really quite big enough, and I don't know it yet. I'll figure it out and in a couple of days so we're threading we're going to use some baker's twine and I measured like three times the height of the signature to give me you know fair amount of strain left over or thread depending on if you're using thread or not now this is going to be the three hole pamphlet stitch and you can start from the inside or the outside now because I have four different sets of signatures I'm starting with the back it seems more comfortable to me to do it that way. So I'm going in from the outside, or from the inside. I'm on the inside, going to the outside. And I'm going to the bottom, but it really doesn't matter if you go on the top or not. And, um, <coughs> sorry. Pardon me, excuse me. And, um, so now we're going back in, and we're going to go all the way up eventually when I get the needle pulled through. 
all the way up to the top hole poke it through that and then we're we're going into that uh, fourth eyelet because remember I got four eyelets across four eyelets across three eyelets down y'all mm -hmm. and this is a very forgiving pamphlet stitch twist y'all mm -hmm. I need drink hang on <laughs> excuse me pardon me Excuse me. So we're going back into the middle hole, and the goal is to have one tail of your thread on one side of the long stitch and one on the other side. And you want to try not to split the thread because then you can't tie the knot correctly, more properly, more butter. And I think I did on this one. Nope. On one of them, I, I, I split the thread, so I had to go back in and, or not go back in. I had to wiggle the needle back through there. So I'm tightening it up, and you have to be careful, especially if you're not using eyelets, because when you're tightening your threads, you can pop it through there. Okay? Pop that hole. Just rip it. Mm-hmm. You don't want to do that. You don't want to rip one off. So just putting a uh, square knot in there. I'm tying it pretty tight. Do you do you need to put glue on there? No. Do you want to? Sure, if you want to, you can. Got Got So now we're going to move to the next signature. I don't show you all of them, y'all, and we have gotten faster. Okay. Now I think this video is right around 30 minutes, so it's not too bad for a whole journal, y'all. I did not show y'all any of the decorating portions. I am going to go ahead and cut the, my remaining signature threads, Baker's twine, because, you know, why not? I know how many I need, right? Right. Now, the thing about this kind of uh, pamphlet stitch with the eyelets like that, if you have just like two sets of signatures, you can just, you just need one set of eyelets down the middle because surely your thread to go through will be, you know, big, you know, plenty, plenty enough room to go through the eyelets, okay? And in this, if I needed, if I had needed another signature, I could have added one into any of the sets of holes, y'all. Uh, as it as it is, I didn't need as many signatures as I made, huh? But I do have a fair amount of happy mail. It makes me so stinking happy. Thank you, everyone who sends me happy mail. And um, I do keep my treasures somewhat separated. The happy mail treasure. Because I try to keep that for personal use. I don't want to give that away. That's, you know, somebody sent that to me. That's special. I don't remember who all sent me what. I know. It's I just don't. So we got all our signatures in. And now we're going to go use some yes paste. Because I'm like, I didn't cover up that back inside cover. And I have some beautiful paper over here I want to use. So I got, got out the gas paste. Y'all know this is some sticky, icky stuff. Pretty sticky, icky. And don't mix. Do not mix glue and yes paste. They are not friends. They are not cousins. They are nowhere near related to each other. And they do not agree. They do not agree. They turn into the snotty drama field mess okay don't 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 mix them they not friends at all so i'm using my glue book again as you can see i'm trying hard to keep the front of it clean i was pretty i was very successful it's actually it's the back but anyway so i want to make sure i'm getting my yes paste everywhere which i am Trying to keep it clean. Flipping it up. Now I need to flip the journal over. Oh, and I added an eyelet to that folded over portion there. That's going to be our closure. We're just going to stick some seam binding in there. I don't think I showed y'all that part, but I just stuck some seam binding in there and closed it like you would, um, you know, just through the loop like you, like you do on a tag. Y'all know what I mean. And uh, so got more glue 
a little too much glue, clean up some of that, because, you know, this is precious stuff. I've had it for years, and I just need it to last more years, I guess. I'm, yeah. So, anyway, smooshing it on there, trying to make sure we got our edges pretty good. I did pretty good, y'all. I was real happy with how this came out. I think this is where I might have let it dry over. Or maybe I let it dry over lunch. I did that, too. I had lunch date. Uh, so, I think that's what I did. I put this on there, and then I went to lunch. Here's the paper. I drew it on the floor, so I had to pick it up. Here it is. Oh, isn't that pretty, y'all? Came in Happy Meal. Makes me so happy. It's nice to get big sheets of paper like this from people. I need to start making more big pieces of papers myself. It's just so fortunate that that fold in the paper matched up to the fold on, on the signature where I didn't want to cover up the pink box. So I roll it around and get it all smooshed together and then I go to lunch. Then I come back and I trim it. I don't show you trimming it because y'all know how to trim around the outside of a journal. And uh, I found these quarters because y'all know I, I did some studio cleanup work and reorganizing. And I found these corners. I didn't even know I had them. So I guess I shouldn't have said, well, I did find them. They weren't lost. but. And I thought, well, hey, let's just put a couple of these on these corners because, well, hey, why not? And I've already put my Happy Meal in there. And that's a piece of cardstock in the window because I had stickers. Someone sent me some lovely stickers. And I thought, well, let's just put them on this cardstock and then that way we can put it in the window. So we did that. And then on the back side, because that's a window part too, we used some other stuff that came in the Happy Mail, which y'all will eventually see that when I decide to flip open the book and show you the book. And it's lovely, y'all. Now I don't have, this is a crop -a dial corner thing and I don't have a crop -a dial corner tool thingy so I'm just using my uh, my wide uh, flat plier, jewelry plier thingies and I did put a little of the art glitter glue on the corner and I was satisfied that that one was stuck pretty good. So, we're going to do the same thing for the top corner because we really only have two square corners y'all. Could I have done without this? Yes, but I had the corner, so I'm like, let's use them. Okay. So that's what we're doing. We're smashing it down. I don't know if this portion is sped up or not. It seems awful slow to me. Only five more days till we get to the photo montage, y'all. And we got a pretty good photo montage. I don't show you every picture, but, you know, it's pretty good. Yep, I'm happy with that. And like I said, I looped uh, some seam binding into the uh, eyelet there for the closure. And I didn't show... Oh, look at that. How cool is that? You could probably add a, uh, an, an, a second signature in each hole if you wanted to. So I had these beads and paper clip beads that came in Happy Mail, and I thought, well, let's just hang those off there. See, I'm just showing you that. See, that's a piece of cardstock in there. Look how pretty that is. I'll probably never take it out. And uh, some of these pockets I used, I got stuff tucked in them. And I turned envelopes into pockets and just all kinds of good stuff. It just makes me so stinking happy. See, those are little envelopes that I glued down and then I tucked the notes in there. Beautiful stuff, y'all. Make ta-da! <laughs> ta-da, Carol! See how that just tucks right into that little pocket we made. Uh-huh. Look at that 3D card. How fun is that? Look it! That one's tucked in there. These are, you know, that one that CB made me with the, the shiny deer. That's so cool. I love it when the ceiling fan casts this, this light on it and it's like swirling. Oh, it's cool. That's a, uh, one of our grandsons, Bentley, made us that. Now, this was back in 2018 Christmas, y'all. So, because it's so fun. And then this was just some pretty envelope stuff and I ran out of Happy Meal. Mm-hmm. That's it. Ran out of Happy Meal. Hmm. So let's close this up. I do have a photo montage coming up. I appreciate your valuable time that you're spending with me. I do. I do. I do. Look at that. It's almost a little too fluffy. 
It's a good thing we made this a little extra spine. Look at that. Get ready, y'all. Love it. <laughs> Heart hands. Photo montage. <laughs> Beautiful, y'all. Just beautiful. I appreciate each and every one of you. Mm -hmm. Your valuable time. Look at that spine. So cool. We've got to do this again. Okay? I like when you share my videos. Makes me happy. Makes YouTube go, oh, hey, people are sharing their videos. That must be some good stuff. And, uh, there's the inside you can see. See the little eyelet stuff. And there's our other paper. Look how pretty that is. So pretty. I had several to choose from. It was kind of hard to choose which paper. And that's the back. You can't quite tell us the back, but it's the back. So I appreciate each and every one of you kind comments, your likes, your shares, your subscriptions. And if you've not done so, please take a moment to subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching and happy arting, y'all.